This is He Knows His Sport, bringing you that heat and that fire. All right, I want to talk about Lamont Peterson versus Sergey Lipinets. That's going to be happening this weekend. That's going to be a pretty good fight. I believe it's going to be a close one. Both guys, you know, are coming off of defeats. But I feel that Lamont Peterson is going to edge that fight out. I believe he's going to outpoint Sergey Lipinets. I don't think there's going to be a knockout. I think at times in that fight, there's going to be a slugfest. But I believe that in the exchanges, Lamont Peterson is going to get the better of the two. We got to remember, Sergey Lipinets is moving up to 147, whereas Lamont Peterson's been at 147. So I think Lamont Peterson has that advantage from that aspect. Plus, I'm not going to name people, but you guys clearly see why my boxing knowledge and my boxing purist is superior to that person that's named that's nameless you know once you defeat people they're nameless but the point that i'm trying to make is that person supposedly said that lamont peterson was a c-level fighter well what does that say about mikey garcia because lamont peterson was actually having trades and exchanges with earl the true spence i'm gonna say that again he was having trades and exchanges with earl the true spence this is what i was trying to tell people People don't go and look at the tail of the tape. Now people understand that Earl the True Spence resume was a lot better than what it looked like on paper. I try to tell people those opponents that he fought, the Chris Algeries of the world, the Chris Van Heaterns, um, that dude that just got fat as fuck. It'll come to me. Um, Chris, there you go. Um, Phil O'Greco, the motherfucker look fat as shit. You should see him on YouTube. He got a YouTube channel now. All of these guys, man, these guys right here, before they fought Earl the True Spence, they were considered, quote unquote, top guys. And people want to shit on Chris Algieri. Chris Algieri beat Provodnikov before he fought Manny Pacquiao. Provodnikov is a come forward fighter. You know, he has no special effects up and down. He's one of those guys that's just going to slug it out with you. But he beat that dude, that same dude that gave Timothy Bradley brain dead for one year. He beat that guy being a slick fighter. So Chris Algieri is no slouch by no stretch of the imagination. That's why I was laughing when people sat there and was, was shitting on Earl the True Spence resume. You know, he was stopping these cats. Leonard Bundu, savvy, slick, a veteran. That guy would give anybody fits. But Earl the True Spence got his ass out of there. But this video is about Lamont Peterson versus Sergey Lipinets. This is why I believe Lamont Peterson is going to beat Sergey Lipinets because of the fact that unlike Mikey Garcia, who looked flat-footed as fuck and couldn't do shit and showed that he's really basic and elementary with his countering at his highest levels. You know, he's basic at everything he does. Now he's exactly like Triple G, no special effects up and down, flat-footed like nobody's business. He was exposed. This is why Sergey Lipinets was able to land 73 power punches on him. I don't believe Sergey Lipinets is going to be able to land that much on Lamont Peterson because Lamont Peterson moves his feet. He's slicker. And unlike the Earl of True Spence fight, he's going to come in that fight lighter. He's not going to be trying to put on all this extra weight. He's going to look like he normally does. Lean, moving his legs, and moving his hands. To me, between the two, Lamar Peterson has better combination skills. And it's going to show. And Lamar Peterson has faster hands. The question is, how much damage did he take from his last fight against Earl of True Spence? Because we've seen that before. Guys that finish coming off of an Earl of True Spence defeat, they are demoralized here. And they're demoralized here. Because Earl of True Spence takes their heart and their head. So that's going to be the question. How much of Lamont Peterson is left? Sergey Lipinets, same side of the question on the same side of the aisle. He had the ability to stop Mikey Garcia and beat him. But he didn't win that fight. So how much is left from that dude? I know Sergey Lipinets had another fight after Mikey Garcia, but still, how much is left from him? That's the question. You know, and if I have to go by, you know, who's going to win the fight, I'm going to go by Lamar Peterson. I'm going to give him the slight edge. I believe he's going to outpoint him because Lamar Peterson, to me, will have better conditioning in that fight. That's what I believe. His stamina will be there longer for him and Barry Hunter's going to have to have the right game plan 
the right game plan because I'm not gonna lie, Sergey Sergey Lipinets can't crack, man. That dude can throw some fucking power shots. When he hits you, you feel it. So, you know, just like and it was Mikey Garcia's own admittance. He was like, man, that that dude Lipinets, that motherfucker was tough. He was tough. So, you know, and Mikey Garcia proved that he he has a green night chin. He can take a shot. Because he was taking Earl to True Spence shots. Even though his ass was in turtle shell survival mode. He was taking those shots. So you got to give hats off to him for that. But if I'm looking at this fight. And I'm judging it. I got. Um, Lamont Peterson winning this fight. By outpointing him. I'm going to give it a 7 rounds to 5. Possibly 8 to 4. In favor of Lamont Peterson. Because I believe he's going to redeem himself. And he's going to win this fight. Because one thing that I see that's a deficiency with Sergey Lipinets is he wanes in the second half of the fights. He gives you all of that great energy up top, I would say up until about the sixth round. But once it gets to around round seven and up, he starts to wane. And I believe that that could be possibly a conditioning issue. And I think that's going to boil in the favor of a Lamont Peterson. Because Lamont Peterson comes into his fight fights well conditioned. You know, he comes lean and he comes in shape. And I believe that's gonna be the slight advantage on his side of the aisle. But the last few fights, I'm not gonna lie, Barry Hunter has not come with the best game plan. And I don't know, y'all tell me is Sergey living at still with Goosen? Because if that's the case, if we're looking at trainers, I believe Barry Hunter is the better trainer. But the last few fights that I've seen Barry Hunter train, his training has not been the best in the last few fights, especially the big step up fights. I think he needs to bring somebody else in that team to kind of be a new voice. Doesn't have to be the head coach, but somebody that's going to give a new voice and that's going to, you know, bring pretty much bring something new to the table. Not the same familiar stuff that they've been doing because. I like Barry Hunter. He's a very experienced trainer, but he's been losing a lot of big step-up fights. And Goosen, on the other hand, has been winning some of these big step-up fights. So if Goosen is the one that's still training Sergey Lipinets, which I don't know, y'all can correct me or not, I think the advantage is going to fall under Goosen, even though I don't think he's that great of a trainer. Because I'm judging these trainers by their latest fights. That's how I judge them. It's not a coincidence that Amir Glass Chin Khan picked Goosen as his trainer. The guy, we could say what we want, we can shit on him all we want, but you know, he has won some big step up fights as a trainer as of late. He's lost some, but he's won some. Whereas Barry Hunter has been losing a lot of big step up fights. You know. So that's the other aspect of the fight that's gonna be concerning to me. But I'm still gonna lean towards Lamont Peterson and I'm gonna give him the slight edge. I got him seven rounds to five or eight rounds to four. Y'all comment below and let me know what y'all think. How y'all think this fight is going to go? Who's going to win between Lamar Peterson and Sergey Lipinets? This is He Knows the Sport. Check it out.